Hey guys, Ali Reza here and in this quick tutorial we are going over how we can create this lens dirt overlay for our camera in Unreal. It's going to be a very simple system to set up so let's get started and see how it's done. Okay, first we need a dirt mask to use for our cameras. This is the one I'm going to use and it's really easy to find. Just uh, search for uh, lens dirt mask and you have a lot of options to choose from. Just download the image and import it into Unreal. Now there are a couple of ways to use this dirt mask for your camera. For example, uh, you can use it in your post process volume. So if you don't have it already in your level, just here search for post process and drag it into your level. Also here search for infinite extent and check this option so it covers the whole level. Otherwise you have to scale it up and it will function only in this area here. I'm going to delete this one because I already have one and now just uh, select your post process volume and here scroll down and find dirt mask. Enable this option here and drag your photo into this box. Now let's bump up the intensity, for example, let's go with 500 and you can see that we have the dirt mask on our camera. You can just experiment with this value and achieve the result you are looking for. Using this tint option here, you can change the color of your dirt, for example, you can go for uh, blue or green or yellow or whatever you like. Another thing that is worth mentioning here is that you can go to the bloom section and using these values you can have a little bit more control uh, over the dirt mask. For example using this threshold option you can just uh, adjust the threshold of the dirt and when you go through these dark areas you can see that we no longer see it but when we uh, go to the lighter areas this uh, effect will pop up you can also play with the bloom and uh, the method that your bloom is working and achieve the result you are looking for here we assign this uh, dirt mask to this post process volume meaning that it will affect all the cameras in the level but uh, if for some reason you just want it to work for only one camera, you just go to the camera and uh, you will have this bloom and dirt mask option for the camera as well. So for example, let's say that you want to add it for your first person camera. Just open up your first person blueprint and here select your camera and then you can just uh, do the same thing here. The only difference, as I mentioned before, is that it will only work for this camera and it doesn't affect the whole scene. Yeah, and this is how you can add this uh, lens dirt mask for your camera. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you later.